Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at another brand new deck, another deck that was uh, in my Hay House uh, summer box. It's the Healing Waters Oracle by Rebecca Campbell, and it's so new it hasn't been released yet uh, on Amazon. According to Amazon, it will be released June 27th, 2023. It is a 44 card deck and guidebook. It's in a hard case two-part box published by Hay House and if you're familiar with Rebecca Campbell she's had several other um, Oracle cards that uh, I will link you know in the pop-up at the end if you guys don't have it and are interested here's a few pictures of the cards from the watery world of the mother to the sacred waters of this world, the physical and mystical element of water has been re revered since ancient times as holding the power to heal, unlock the sacred wisdom of the waters, and your innate capacity to heal with this stunning oracle. So this is all about waters, and there's a little write-up about Rebecca Campbell at the bottom. It's a unique box. It's one where the top lifts up and it's neatly angled. Oh, it has a little saying here, the healing waters are within you. So that's what it says there. And I believe uh, this is like the third box that she had designed this way. And I read in the last previous box, it's designed this way so that you can sort of use it sort of like a stand or altar with your cards, see, so you can just stand your cards. I personally don't like it because uh, sometimes I feel it's not secure, although th having said that, this is pretty secure. One of the box that I had, I think was a little loose, but I think they've tightened it up. So it's not a problem anymore, but I don't know. It's nice, it's different. All right, so it comes with a guidebook. And here's the thickness of the guidebook, and we'll take a look at the guidebook more after we look at the cards. It does come with this card, the Healing Waters Orco Attunement. On the back of this card, you will find the Healing Waters Attunement Altar card. You can use the attunement to ritually connect with your oracle and the waters within, around, above, and below you each time you use it. You can do this attunement to activate your oracle before you first use it, or you could choose to do it several times as called to deepen your connection with the oracle. So she includes like a little water ritual and also how to connect with your cards, the Healing Waters Oracle Attunements, right? And then here are the cards and here's the bottom. The Healing Waters are within you. So the bottom and the top has the same inscription. The, the Healing Waters are within you. Okay, and the box just closed up like that. Neat little triangle which I guess is, represents the water element. It's kind of cool. And here are the backs of the cards. And the cards are buttery matte. So it has that matte soft matte feel comparing it to a plaid back tarot. It is taller and wider. And it's the same Oracle card size as their angel cards. So. No difference there. The sides are not gilded, so no gilding. And then it's the top part is pretty much borderless. There is this border at the bottom, has the elements, um, and then the title of the card, and then a key phrase. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Atlantis, keep the big vision, stay in alignment as you grow. And I look, it looks like it's in alphabetical order. Beneath the surface, what's really driving you? True motives breaking free. Birth mysteries, what are you being called to create? Bounteous, generously give. Relationships coming together. Cleansing, releasing the old energetic tune-up, new beginnings. Clear waters, clear vision, confirmation, right timing, opportunity. 
cosmic ocean, current dreams, future realities, new beginnings. Deep sea diving, way of the mystic, learn through experiencing depths. End call. Healer, seer, priest, priestess, priest X. Soul purpose. Follow the stream. Dedication, trust, future, rivers, and oceans. Gentle force, consistency, persistence, patience, the long game. The healing lagoon. Rejuvenate, recovery, time to heal. It's safe to stop. Immerse yourself. Training, learning, new hobbies, passions. Into the unknown, underworld, depth, courage, facing your fears. It's pretty thick. Yeah, cardstock is medium, you guys. And uh, it's, it's, it's thicker than it has been. So the last couple decks, it seems like Hay House uh, have uh, changed their cardstock to what it used to be. For the last few years, it got pretty thin there. But this deck and the deck I reviewed yesterday and even the Hay House affirmation card, it's pretty back to normal. So, um, not bad. Isle of Avalon, healing, returning to wholeness, transformation. That looks nice, relaxing. King Tai, plenty, prosperity, receiving the fullness of life. Lady of the Lake, new beginnings, something is about to happen. Ooh, that sounds suspenseful. Let it go, release the past, forgive, soften, move forward. Let it rain, allowing what is inevitable, trust. Oh, there's a little rainbow in there. Oh, it's a larger rainbow. I only saw here, I didn't realize it comes out. Ah, there's a rainbow up here too. Nice, making waves. Momentum is building. It's your time. Achievement. Metamorphosis. Embrace transformation. Things are now different. The mist. Trust your inner compass. Be led from within. Mother of the salt waters. Passion, wild love. Open your heart. Let love in. The pearl. Alchemy. The reward at the end. From grit to grace. The pink dolphin. Celebration. Fun. Unbridled joy. Open heart. Planetary wave, soul mission, trust the inner call, soul team. Plunge, don't hold back, it's time, go for it, dive in. The rainbow, sweet relief, new beginnings, a new way forward. Ride the waves, life lessons and growth, you will get through this. The ripple effect. Part of something bigger. Details are taken care of. The sacred well. Replenishment, self-care, giving from a place of plenty. Selkie. Come out of hiding. Embrace who you really are. She who flows. Ease, being open to change. Go with the flow of life. The sirens, use your voice, expansion, freedom. There's two, yeah. Stagnant waters, feeling stuck, it call for shifts, flow, and change. The sweet waters, sensuality, romance, enjoyment, fertility, balance. Thank you. Gratitude, appreciating what's sustaining you. The water carrier, what really matters. Reflect, reprior, reprioritize. 
water codes, ancient wisdom, the intelligence is within you. The water oracle, psychic abilities, acting on visions is destined. The water fall, inner power, unbridled confidence, claiming your place. The well maidens, kindness, respect. Reverence, compassion. The well spring. What are you thirsty for? Body care, take a breath. The wishing well. Unexpected gifts, kindness, karmic jewels. Okay, the backs one more time. And I think they should shuffle well. Let's see. The one from yesterday seemed to shuffle well. So let me just go ahead and shuffle. Yep, it shuffles nicely. And they will riffle shuffle as soon as you break them in a little. They're still brand new to me, so. Oops. Yep. Let me make it a little smaller. Yep, they will riff or shuffle. It's just my thumbs are weak because I have carpal tunnel. Yep, they will riff or shuffle. All right. Once you break them in, or for you who have stronger hands and you don't have issues with your hands or thumbs. Let me bend them the other way. Try one more time. There you go. I knew it would. All right, so let's take a look at the guidebook really quick. Healing Waters. Let's lean back in a little. For Craig, Sonny, and my daughter, who was in my waters during the creation of this oracle. Table of Contents. Acknowledgements. The Healing Waters. Reflections, folklore, and my mythology. My journey with the healing waters. So she share her journey. Waters as intelligence of life. Creation stories and other myths. Sacred mysteries of water. So all about water, you guys. Water as a divination tool, the memory of water. So everything you want to know about water are sacred waters of the world, the ocean. Rivers. Wells and springs. Places of healing. Wow, there's a lot of information in this little guidebook. And then it goes into the oracle, working with the Healing Waters Oracle, about the Healing Waters Oracle. So she explains about that. And then the Healing Waters Oracle Attunement, which is on that card I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Healing Waters Oracle Attunement. Reading the cards. Deepening your devotional practice with the oracle. Yeah, so here's the base with the box that she was talking about as an using the box as an altar. Uh, yeah, you can put your cards like that. The call of the soul, the next step. So she shows even show you how to use the box with diagram. Look at that. And then we go into the card so you get a black and white picture of the cards. And then there's a soul inquiry section. So all there's a, all of them. They have a write up, and then there's a healing waters affirmation. I embrace the clarity and potency of what's before me. I say yes, and proceed ahead. So that's an example of one. And then the back there's a bibliography. So 
So there's a total of 164 pages, Sacred Waters, Activism, the Inner Temple Mystery School Training, about the artist, about the creator, and that's pretty much it. All right, so she has a lot of information about water. So if you are a water sign, or if you are connected to uh, water, or you're going through dealing with a lot of emotions, um, you may resonate with this deck. Or if you are trying to understand your water person, <laughs> I don't know if this will help with that, but who knows? I am a water sign. I am a Cancerian, so we are water. Um, so this is a good deck for me. I feel at home with this deck, but there it seems like there's lots that I can learn myself. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoy that walkthrough. As usual, I will put the link uh, in the description underneath the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.